Hey guys, John C. My new Bedini motor. I've been playing with this. That's my old one, which y'all might remember. Um, which was more proof of concept to see if it worked. And it did. It worked quite well. So I built another one. Um, this one I used for for the rotor. I used a uh, scooter wheel. It's got bearings in it. Um, it's already balanced. I didn't have to drill a hole or anything, so made it easier. Uh, and then the coils are they're 550 winds of tri-filer, so it's it's two power and one trigger. Let's focus in on that. The power is 24 gauge. The trigger is 28. So this one will go here. I just I wanted to do one first. So the circuit is a Bedini SSG um, Simple School Girl. That's what it's called. And it uh, you can see one of the power wires in the coil is not hooked up. So it's just running the trigger and the power. But what I wanted to show you here, if I can do it this time, is how when a when a Bedini recharges the battery, it's not pulling the charge from the power coil, so the, the back EMF coming from the power coil is wasted. It's pulling charge from the trigger coil, which is a smaller uh, smaller wire. So to me, it seems like there's a lot of wasted energy here that could be used. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to fire it up. Let's see. And, um, once it hits resonance, it really gets going, but it takes a little time for it to do that. So I'm not going to wait for it to do that. I'm just going to go ahead and show you. Um, so what I'll do is I've got my negative end on this Allergy clip. So I'll take that and put it down here at the first end of the... Uh, trigger wire. I can get it to stay. There we go. And the second is the, the power. I'll take it to the other end of the trigger wires right here. And you can see what I'm getting. Six. So this is AC voltage, by the way. So I'm getting six and a half volts AC voltage and uh, as you can see that this wire is coming back to my power and on the other end of the trigger is this wire and it's coming back to my negative so that is what's charging the battery and now the power coil which is only being used to, to actually turn the rotor Has has back EMF, obviously. Of eight point eight, almost eight and three quarter volts, which is not going back into the battery. I find that interesting. So that's wasted energy. So the other thing is now I have this third one that's not in use and when I measure the voltage on it I have almost 7 volts and all together I, I, I can't really measure the current coming out of this which is the problem and I can tell you it, it's pretty significant because I actually accidentally touched between here and, and got quite the jolt um, but it's hardly any current coming into it I think it's a you know, let's see so we'll go from the power wire
I don't know if I could actually even measure it from this. Here we go. The three, four milliamps. So there's not a lot of current going into it to turn this thing. And uh, unfortunately, I don't have a reliable way to measure the current coming out of it. But the steady voltage coming out of this in the power coil, which is not being used to charge this. I don't know, there, there just seems like there's a lot that can be done with that. Uh, you know, I'll have to find out what happens when I put a load on this. You know, let's see. But this is, this, here's another example of how much voltage this is actually producing. So this neon here is 120 volt neon. Here's another one. And if I, if I pull the load off of this by taking this off the battery, so it's not charging battery anymore, you can see it. It's lighting that. And the purpose of that is to save the transistor so it doesn't blow the transistor. But each time it passes by, it's producing enough voltage of back EMF on the trigger coil to light the the 120 volt neon. I put this back on, and it stops. Anyway. The stuff is fascinating to me. I think that there is a lot to learn. Um, so my goal, I'm going to build another one of these, put it on this side, and put this coil here on this side, uh, and then, and then you know, then have the two separate circuits, but it's a common rail for the outgoing of both of the unused coils and the charging circuit on the the Bedini SSG. We'll see what I can do with that. Um, that will be this will be the power station for a number of other experiments to come. Anyway, thought I'd share. Uh, talk to y'all later. <laughs>